we are doing this recession okay so it's been a long time and we'll go over those details in a later video and we've also got some combos that are coming out and lastly we're going to be breaking down the Tekken 8 trailer now let's get straight into this tutorial it's about the buffer 3 trick and a lot of people don't know about this trick and some of them are finding it difficult and this will make it easy for them and they'll all be able to do it so first of all there's some components within this and the first component is that you need 12th move on his move list and that is the Kishin Reko now Kishin Reko as you can see here is a 3 hit string the first two being high and the last being low now when Jin does this move when he's running you will tend to see that if I try to just do this move while running I just get a running kick yeah now this move can be done close range or it can be done far range now if I want to get the, so the kitchen deco as you can see I just did there from a full stride run I need to first hold the first attack of this move so meaning the kick yeah the first move will be the kick and I need to hold this now you can see as I'm moving around and while I'm holding this move the game thinks that I am pressing this again and again and again without letting it go yeah but what it doesn't know is that I'm actually holding this so it's kind of a way to kind of uh, trick the game so that's what it does and it helps a lot of characters as well now when it comes to Jin there's two ways you can do this first is wave dash and second is hold and do the buffer key check so this will look like this there you go okay now that's what that is now another thing is that when you do this what we need to do is first you use this move on a big character test and practice this move on a big character like Fa and if you haven't got him then Jack will do this fine as well or Armor King or Hiachi because they are quite big characters and even Miguel because he's got quite a lot of height and since he's quite tall this game allows the player when he's faced up or when his opponent is a tall person it gives you more time to do a combo makes it more easier and more efficient and that's why I suggest that's why I suggest that you pick a big character okay now when it comes to the buffer 3 trick you want to hold 3 and run yeah and press back and four when you get close back four back four whilst holding the first move of kitchen record which is three yeah press back four and this will give you the standing three okay yes you can do it in the wave, the wave dashing moment as well you can see you can do it like that as well very easy okay you can do it from full screen as well as you can see and you can do it from half screen as well just like that but sometimes it's a bit more trickier to do a wave dash rather than a full run and I'll show you examples of those later on now as we were talking about another component of this trick is that when you make the opponent spin and he hits the ground you need to hold three yeah now don't get it wrong i don't mean press three as soon as he hits the ground that's not what you want to do what you want to do is press three as soon as you pretty much press the move that makes the opponent spin so here i'm pressing four and he spins now i'm holding three you see yeah just like that holding three yeah okay now another thing you can do is so for example another one this one yeah so i do the one two three four i mean one two four yeah so do one one two four and then 
and do the move two trick again. Yeah. So these things you just need to get. in your brains and just pretty much get it down so it becomes very easy get acquainted with it and you'll be able to do it now it is going to take a bit of time learning how to you know do this trick without messing up yeah so practice it a lot so that you don't mess up or anything like that okay and now I'm just going to show you some different ways of how this works now another thing I should say is that this move, this trick is mostly used when it comes to Jin's max damage combos and these tend to need his 3-1 Zen 2 now 3-1 Zen 2 is also from Kishin Reko, right? But the only difference is that you're pressing forward. Yeah. Now, this forward takes away the effect of you hitting that low. Yeah. So if you do this low, you won't get a combo. Yeah. Most of the, well, sometimes you won't get a combo. And when you're on normal axis, you never really get a combo. So that's what that is. As you can see, yeah, I can do whatever I want, but. I always actually get a combo so that will take away the counter hit yeah as you can see you won't exactly get that anymore yeah now what it does give you though is it gives you a range of moves the first being his zen 1 and i'll put the frame data on so you can see so zen 1 is plus 8 on hit yeah on count hit i think on hit it'll be the same as that yep plus eight as you can see and you can also delay this zen one two quite a great deal and it'll still be guaranteed as you can see yeah you can set people out with that and zen two and zen four and zen three and then zen one i mean zen three plus four yeah, and then one plus two. So these are the moves he's got. <coughs> then one plus two as well. Okay. Now then you've got his crouch dash, which comes out from this, as you can see. Yeah. As you can see, you've got all these kind of different, amazing kind of styles and so on. But that's what that is. So hopefully that explains the buffer three and. I'm just going to show you different different combos now and take whatever you want and implement implement it into your game and hopefully it becomes easy and I wish you all good luck and yeah hope you enjoy watching them